welcome to the Predator WPA Men's World 10 Ball Championship. Alvin Ocean. Good evening and welcome to this winner's qualification for the last 16 match between Ko Ping Chung and Albion Ocean. Now this has got the makings of being an absolute classic encounter between these top two players. Ko Ping Chung of course 28 years old from Chinese Taipei against the 33 year old Albion Ocean from Klagenfurt in Austria. It's a race to four, best of three sets. And if we go to a deciding set, it will be a shootout at 3-3, three, three, if it goes that far. Long way to go though, of course. Nice break from Coping Chung, his brother in action as well on an outer table. today we'll know our last 16 so this three obviously passes yeah just that six ball looks to be pretty tough it's difficult the voice of Tim De Reuter is joining us all the way from Holland. Just so you know, guys, we are remotely commentating on in Thailand. Tim in Holland is coming to you live, of course, from the Rio Royal Suites Hotel and Casino in the lively, lovely Las Vegas. Welcome, Tim. Thank you, Mark. Looking forward to this match. does have a great chance here to maybe run into the rail, bump the six out and get shape on the five. Either way, you run into the eight or the six, both could work. I describe this, Tim, as what could be a really classy encounter. Two fantastic players, both won some big titles, Tim. And Coping Chung is just such a, a smooth cueist, as is the Austrian as well. So we should see some really good pull here. Well, for the real big fans at home, of course, Albin being a former World Nine Ball champion, but then we have Coping Chung, who's a former World Ten Ball champion. So two world champions in the same arena. 
Does it get any better? Could be fireworks. Well, he's looking speedy. He's looking comfortable already. Of course, that opening break really got him started. Two wins under his belt already. Open jump with Michael Elgard. 2-0 in the first round. And then Alex Kazakis. 2-1 in sets in the second round. And on the other hand, Albin Ocean. Well, he hasn't lost a set, Tim. Beat Ragnar Gronstein and Roman Hebler in his first two matches. Great games going on on the other tables. On table two, our other televised table, his brother Ko Ping Yi is in action against Alex Pagulion. Alex is just taking the first wreck over there. We've got the defending champion in action, Eklund Kachi, is up against Aloysius Yap. Lots of other stars which we'll keep you up to date with. Meanwhile, one. Rack to zero up, coping Chung. Can he repeat the break, Tim? We have with our, within our mitts, sorry, the break guru, Tim De Reuter. Cast your expert eye out into this one. Okay, a wild cue ball. A lot of movement, though. Almost made a 10 on the break, which wouldn't count, but would spot back up. Just, yeah, just a little bit overcut on the one ball. And an opening shot for Albin. The yeah, temple went exactly the same place as it went on his previous break, Tim. So he hit them kind of similar, I guess. Got a chance for Albin Ocean now, then. Yeah, quite some surprising results we've seen so far in the World Temple Championships. With Viktor Zielinski being out, Joshua Filler being out. Quite and surprising. Tyler Steyer also went out. Tyler yeah, also, as well, yeah. of course. Tyler, who Known actually. His big played, break, Tim. He played good in the Las Vegas Open and then being out to an out in the World Ten Ball. Must be disappointed. But that's how it goes sometimes, too. You know, you just you can't always catch that little gear at the right moment. shot from Albin basically opened up the rack here if he can get decent angle from the four to the five shouldn't be too tough after but lights around the table it's also his first rack and the first rack is always a little bit uncomfortable Key shot coming up. Side rails across, across. Perfection. Off the rail. Oh, he might be close running into the nine or the seven. Now, if he catches either of them thin, he should be fine. If he can miss them, of course, is even better. Oh, he was fine. So he's gonna say if he hits any ball thick, he might lose grip on the situation.
Well, I must say, Tim, I want to show some love for the glove. I'm really liking that colour at the moment. It's kind of the in colour. It's the colour of our arena. Also, the trim around the top of the arena, you'll notice in a minute. The same colour. I think you call it teal. Teal. Yeah. I learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a line I don't hear very often from people talking to myself. <laughs> well, another interesting fact is that I was just looking at the winners' qualification round. There's three Polish players still in the winners' bracket. Of course, we've had Wojciech Chefczyk, who's won the World Ten, I believe, two years ago. So, who knows, maybe another Polish player. It is 10 to level the score. Clean run out and from another. Hashem. There's another one, Tim, another great pole. Conrad Musician, of course, he's on the loser's side and he's up against Jason Shaw. Next in their round. Well, and then a lot of quality. There's one more. Simon Kural, former World Junior Champ. He's also still in. He's in the loser bracket, about to play Badr Alawadi tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. But still five Polish players in this it, probably the last 24. So always dangerous nowadays these polish players they show up with a big group and always there's a couple running deep chang jung lin is up against Mieszko fortunski right now on an outer table as is daniel Massiel. he is up against francisco sanchez ruiz who is of course finalist here last year tim after beating gorst in the semi-final and then catchy in the final of course, still in also. He's in action against Japanese uh, Hijikata. Back to this one then. Motion. Getting some motion on these 10 balls. It's got kicked in. Yeah, one of the... Down better breakers we have in Europe for sure Albin always comes up with a big break not sure if he should be happy with how he overcut the break a little bit there but on the other side he has in the ball in the break could play safety behind the 4-6 could also go even more aggressive and bank the one ball on the side I think he can play with low left. Not too much left because it will shorten up the bank, but mainly low. Draw the cue ball straight to the short rail and come back out. He's played it with check. Look at the cue ball, he's played it with right spin to check it right back for the two in the side as well. Beautiful shot from Smart. Ushan. Very smart shot. Well, the left spin was going to make the bank tougher, so actually he's played a clever shot there. And it would help him to get on the two ball as well, so... Look at how much space he's got in the center of the table. Almost every ball hanging over the pocket, so... Would have to favor him getting out here. Time Moscone Cup winner Albin Ocean, also MVP, can handle the pressure under the most strenuous of situations. It doesn't come any harder than the Moscone Cup. He's also been a World Cup of Pool winner in the doubles with Mario He twice. 
as you mentioned earlier, Tim. World nine ball champion. Also Premier League champion. That's a pretty stressful event as well. Clean run out from Albin. Solved the problem right from the start. Now leading to one. I mentioned the words classy encounter earlier on, and it doesn't come much classier than that run out. That cue ball, Tim, was absolutely on a string every single shot from the get go. Fantastic run out from well, one of the world's classiest players, I would say. Well, one of the one of his strengths, I would say, is also that he plays almost any game on the pool table as well. He's a good straight pool player. That's where a lot of cue ball control comes from as well always a strong competitor has always been a strong competitor within the european championships plenty of medals there so you know if you play eight ball nine ball ten ball straight pool then you're gonna develop such a brilliant skill and he has the touch say the Midas touch but he's not using the Predator gold cue he's using the BK rush but it's come up dry this time why didn't a ball go down that time Tim In. Yeah, oops, I'm still here. No, I was just saying that he didn't hit the break completely square in the face, and he was a little bit unfortunate not to make the eight because the eight was very speedy, ran straight to the corner, and hung up on him. So it's a little bit of give and take. He could have maybe hit it a little bit squ more square. On the other side, he's still back at the table in this rack, so... Now, this is an interesting push-out because I do believe the one ball... If he is trying to go forward two rails behind the seven and the two, he might run into the kiss. He would bank the one ball into the short rail and find the one ball again on the right side of the four. So I would look for something on the other side of the one there's the predator pure chalk on the corner pocket there decides to give it back would yeah, you give this I, back Tim yeah yeah I really didn't like it anything on the left side it's difficult to run the cue ball away and to go over the right side like I mentioned Maybe if you catch it a little bit thicker, you might be able to get the cue ball out of the kiss, but... Eight ball corner pocket. It's called the eight ball in the corner pocket, so... It's definitely running the cue ball up there. Is he gonna beat the kiss? No, the kiss was there. Amazing, isn't it? You're hitting two balls, Tim. They part. And then... Just over two inches, they come together once again, right at the wrong point in that case. Not easy to get on the two ball, but of course it is a combo onto the seven, so good chance again for Albin Ocean. Needs this to run, wants to be straight behind it. It's pretty good. Seven corner pocket. Yeah, maybe 
just a hair off angle if he cheats the pocket by accident the two ball might run away from him just a bit see he's got a small angle so there is a chance two ball might go to the short rail so if he follows the cue ball might be better just a little bit forward soft oh yeah he was expecting the two ball to go out towards the short rail and met it right after the rail took a little bump did apologize wasn't trying but i'm sure he doesn't mind this position at all well the first double kiss cost Ko Ping Chung, that little double kiss there has helped Ocean now he wants to miss this four ball. He has prime position once again, Tim. Yeah, very cool customer, Albin. If you look at all the, the big events he's won, he knows how to stay cool and that's skill itself oh, right. a far on this four can he still I think he still can cut the four ball in but might have to go twice the long rail good news is if he catches the long rail first it might still slide in You might remember, not such a cool customer back in 22 when he did win the Premier League title. He went through a little bit of a meltdown and went on social media and apologised for his behaviour, didn't he? Which was very, very smart of him and very humble of him. And ever since that, that uh, event, Tim, he tends to have mellowed quite a bit. He won't be happy with that miss. Chunk right back in again. Yeah, did all the hard work so far on this rack. Of course, we're playing that combo, and now this is key shot if he can get a nice angle to run up the table for the eight. Oh, I have ran, yeah, he ran too far, a little bit too high. Don't think he can go up table anymore. So he might have to maybe run into the nine and take a longer cut on the eight. Or is he even going to go further away from the eight and take a longer cut? No, he did find a window to go three rows around. Nice shot. Beautiful shot. Curved I knew the we were be do yeah, when I knew we were going to be doing this, Tim, this match together, I was well, salivating at the, at the thought of this fabulous match. For the purist, this is the pool we want to see. Well, if you just look at within this four racks, how much cue ball movement we've seen and so relaxed body movement as, as well like they're very calm very smooth and they still move the cue ball around very yeah f very relaxed like it's it doesn't really take that much effort to move the cue ball around well i've just seen a really smart advertising ploy there from albion ocean left his predator pure chalk on the table and it was right in the shot as ko ping chung played <laughs> His shot, and then Albin came and retrieved, retrieved his chalk just afterwards. Now I have a question, Tim. Go ahead. What does the name What does the name Thomas Morato mean to you? How good your memory? Thomas Morato. It's for you I... to ponder. Oh boy, I have no idea. You do. I'll bet I do. You're going to 
kick yourself when I tell you, but we're going to wait until after this rack. Let's have a look at this break from Ko Ping Chung, looking to get on the hill, nicely poised, 2-2 two -two in this first set. Best of three sets, right? Another dry break. Now this time did hit the break more square, a little bit of draw. It also didn't feel like there was a big pop on the cue ball. Still a lot of movement and yeah. always tough. Could be so you many can't reasons. Stop the pop. You can't stop the pop, Tim. No. So, key shot getting from the two ball to the three ball. ball set bucket. Could go to the short rail with left spin in between the ten and the four. Can you go one rail back out in between the four and the five with right spin? That's what he's played. And now he did get straight on this three ball, so won't be able to get close to the four. Nice replay. Went forward with the cue ball and then with the right spin, making sure it would crawl back up. Wondering, could go forward. Yeah, could go for. Oh, look at the cue ball. It's in. Is it? Is it going to drop? Wow, living on the edge. Well, did he hook himself? No, I don't think he's hooked himself. But I was trying to run around the eight. Oh, this is a test up into the side I'll be thankful though to have a shot at it he could easily have gone in that corner pocket oh what a stroke stroked it too well he's overhit this the good news for him if he can make the five either bottom left or bottom right there is a six seven combo five waiting for him bucket. so Make the five, run into the nine. Shot clock deeper going, so not plenty of time. A really good recovery Seven shot. Just look at the cue ball, how well he's played the five in a comfortable speed, but still catching the nine full in the face and stopping the cue ball there. if he needs to stick an extension on the end of that Pantera butt. I believe he's playing with the Pantera, Tim. Yeah, I do think so as well. So let's see, has to get to the right side of the eight. Mind the 10, he's all right. Wants an angle, that's okay as well. A little near the rail, but you know he's good off the rail. That four ball he played in the side at the beginning of this. I think our cameraman just fall over, fell over. Yeah, main thing is on these shots is you stay low, just don't move because he had a guaranteed angle. He was not happy actually. I feel no. he's. <laughs> I feel he's running out of shape and he's not happy by his cue ball, while for other people it may look like he's playing perfect pool. But um, now he is, one thing I do appreciate about Adam Jones is that he's 
a deep perfectionist. So even though he runs out, he's still trying to be better next rack. Because he ran out of shape a couple times. Reminds me of Ronnie O'Sullivan a lot in that respect, always striving for perfection. And even though you know he's run that rack out, sometimes the creative mind just is screaming at you in the background. Yeah, I ran out, but I didn't do it the way exact way that I planned to do it, kind of thing. Now I asked you a question, Tim. Who is Thomas Morato? <coughs> give me. I'll give you a clue. He's. You've stayed there. You've stayed in Thomas Morato Avenue. where Ko Ping Chung won one of his titles last year. He beat Michael Feliciano 17-13 at Sharks, the great white arena in Thomas Morato Avenue. Remember yeah. now? Yeah, yeah, I do remember now, yeah. The Philippines. Quezon City, that's it. Back to this one then on the hill. Ocean looking to take the first set. Okay, more square break this time. Yeah, now I do understand why he feels a little bit disappointed because this time he has hit it pretty good. Just a little bit of topspin on the cue ball, but at least the aiming is way better than in the beginning of the match. Well, there was, plenty, there was plenty, plenty of pop, of pop but no <laughs> plop. There's no ball plopping into the holes there, so plenty of pop, but no plop. It could be very costly, though, if Ping Chan runs out here. He will be breaking to steal the set. Ko Ping Chan had a fabulous 2023 won the US Open of course he also won the Universal Chinese Taipei Open the Sharks International which I just mentioned the Maldives Open 10 ball Tim the Asian 9 ball championships back in 2019 World 10 ball as we mentioned he started out in 2013 with a World 9 ball junior championship he still looks like a junior doesn't he little I know he's not the littlest co, but maybe in stature he is. So I would say the six does go in both corners. So if he gets straighter on the five ball, he should be fine getting to the six. If he gets more angle, he can still choose either side for the six ball so the shape on this five ball is not as tricky as it would have been if the six only goes to one of the top two corners well i'm impressed with your calling of shots there tim because just as you mentioned if he gets straight on that five he looked in case he did whether he could draw in between that six and seven exactly on cue when you said it you know your stuff, don't you? You should start playing this game sometime, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I might need a little practice. Um, and I, he might have a little in-between angle, still okay to run towards the seven at least. Oh, didn't want that much. Oh. Did put quite some draw on there. Had to tone it down a bit. He's probably gonna play the cue ball behind the eight now. After short rail behind the eight. If he can get the six in between the nine and the ten, he would have uh, double insurance. Did he get the full cover? I, the crowd is clapping. I don't think he's got the full cover. Still, the shape for the seven ball is the trickiest from this position. So, 
could still get another chance, but would have liked to get the cable sticking behind the eight. This title has eluded Albin Ocean so far. His opponent, Coping Chung, has already won it. Albin's sister is going very well in the women's showdown as well. She had a good win today over Alison Fisher in straight sets. They resume tomorrow as well. So plenty of pull going on at the Rio. Yeah, I wasn't trying to make the six ball, I was just trying to play the conservative sh safety. Just wait. Definitely works so far on this. There's only one safety is the six on the left long wheel, cuba to the right long wheel, the ten in between, but Extension. could give big initiative to Albin if he doesn't get the full cover on this. Consider the bank, Tim. It's tempting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah he's, he's called, called it already. It. Well, especially being up three to two, and Ping Chong could have been out of this wreck already. It's like it's not a free shot, but whenever you get these small opportunities, you sometimes gotta grab them. Yeah, nice shot. Needs another good shot on the seven ball, but still he's in a winning position from here. Perfect example here. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. He decided to take it. Definitely pocket speed on the seven. Doesn't want to pound it, make it slide in. He's missed the seven, so another turnaround this set. Oh, happy birthday, Ko Ping Chung. A little surprised him that Albin played the cue ball to where he did. I think he kind of played a little bit of safety on that six as well, just in case he missed it. Ended up making it, of course, and then finished horribly on that seven ball. It was always missable. Coping Chung stepping in to clear up what Albin failed to do. Yeah, back and forth wreck. They both failed to run out in this wreck. Both could have finished the job, but it's Coping Chung. He levels the score at three. He still has a chance to win this set. Let's just run through some scores, Tim. Well, our referee from Turkey sets up the balls. Aloysius Yap is 3-1 up over defending champion Eklund Kachi. 3-1 on the hill. Daniel Masial is level with uh, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Fortunski and Chang Jun Lin are Level at 2-2. Two, two. In fact, Fortunes has just taken the lead there to get on the hill. 3-2. Carlo Biardo is a setup against Wu Kun Lin. Also a setup. Listen to this. 2022 20, champion Wojtek Shevchek is a set down to Yip Kin Ling Liao from Hong Kong, who of course beat his fellow compatriot Robbie Capito in the previous round. So these stats, Tim, anything that leap out at you? I know I haven't left you a lot of time, but anything that leaps out? Well, both players have had a couple breaks yet, and 33% for each player is not too great. So they got to find, the player that finds something on the break could really dominate this match. Look at 
this a chance maybe to open up that 210 as well off of the two when it comes to it maybe do it now Tim sorry the 410 and leave himself on the two beg your pardon yeah, Should I do believe you. Worth the risk. No, you, I think you got to do it now. There's no other way you can get to it later. Of course, that three ball is difficult as well, but you might be able to... Well, it's either you go all in, you tell yourself, okay, I'll go for the run out, and if I don't get there, I play safe. Or he can just choose to play safe off this... Well, make the one and then play safe on the two so you can keep the game locked or you try to open up a little bit but then now it needs another brilliant shot for the three ball see a chance to see now this beautiful stroke of Albin Ocean well he is gonna play the cue ball next to the side pocket to play a stop shot safety behind the eight, unless he can get on that three ball if he gets past the side. But it's it's a small window, not easy. Can he just stun him straight down and back up again? I think so. Maybe a little bit draw stun would go towards the nine. Oh. And now, That's yeah, I do think he's hooked himself fully. See, the stun was sending him towards the nine. I had to play more draw, but then the cue ball would be slower if there was a draw on the cue ball. So he tried in between and fully hooked himself on this three ball. I think he actually potted the two ball a little bit too thin to him he could have played it just a little bit thicker but maybe just a bit of a miss hit so a containing safety but he would have loved to have run out there but it wasn't easy was it oh well, that's what tough that's why I was mentioning that he could have chosen to leave the game kind of locked and then play early safety because now the battle is all about this three ball. The player that wins this battle has an open layout. Can he get in behind the six here? Just really thin the left hand side of the three. Can he ball behind the six? I think that might be the, the target if he can I get to that edge. So. I think he will play the other way around. Mm -hmm. Probably the best Bing Chung could have done on that. Now, Albin can kick one rail at this three ball. Oh, he's, he's jumping. He's jumping. Wow. Mind your, just mind your trouser leg on that ball on the rail. Is he going for this, Tim, in the corner? Yeah, he did call the three ball, but that's such a attacking shot. I'm actually surprised he chose to play the jump. Well, maybe there was a bit of frustration in that shot, knowing that it should have been him who was locking up coping Chung on his last shot. called the three in the side I think he might have called it just in case no he went all in so it's all about that seven ball the seven doesn't go in the top right doesn't really go in the bottom right because of the ten he might not even like the seven in the side pocket so definitely will need to bump either the 7 or the 8 good cue ball 
nicely judged, wasn't it, Tim? And the back of that 10 ball. Aloysius Yap has taken the first set against defending champion Eklund Kachi. And also, Mirsko Fortunski has gone a set up on Chang Jung Lin, who was, of course, the, the mixed Scotch doubles champion with Chow Chay Yu earlier in the week. It's five then to the six. Yeah, now depending on his angle on the six, he might be able to draw back where he is now and shoot the seven in the same corner. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. Could also, he could play, yeah, stun top, just a hair over for the seven in the side, but it's not a huge bucket. It's going through the Austrian's mind right now. Maybe that two ball. And he played the two to the three. Caught that nine, didn't he? Seven ball, side pocket. Yeah, make the seven. And you're a big favorite to win the first set. Yeah, the there three, it is. Three here. Coping Chung. 3-3, Ko Pin Yi on an outer table, 3-3 three, three with Peggy Lyon. It's a race to see which Pin Yi in their first set quickest. Looks like it's going to be Ping Chung. Not the player we would have expected to win the first set. We actually expected Albin to get over the finish line first because he did have a great chance. In the end, it's Coping Chung. He was shaking his head as he left the arena, Tim, and he was first in in that deciding wreck in the first set, and he'll be very, very disappointed. But he didn't go on to win it. Albin snipped out for a bathroom break. And they've been quite quite the subject in this week. Bathroom breaks, what's your view as a player on bathroom breaks? I expect you to be totally honest now. Oh yeah, I wouldn't really why about this anyways no i mean especially with the extended format the matches could take two hours two and a half hours and i mean we're all human it is definitely possible to need a restroom break mm. so i i mean i think it was a little bit strange to yeah, read so many Things happening, yeah, around the tournament all week about the breaks. Haven't really, uh, didn't expect to see that from the beginning. But yeah, I'm definitely in for at least one <laughs> bathroom break in a two-hour match, two and a half-hour match. But like I always mention, you know, like these are also hard-working people. They try to put a great event out there for the fans, for the players. Of course, there's always going to be mistakes being made and hopefully we can grow the sport to make small adjustments, maybe in the rules, maybe... Maybe it was just a mistake by the referee at that point. Well, I'm sure the referee will learn from it, so... Yeah. I think that's my, my point of view. Yeah, the thing is, isn't it, you have to take into consideration is there's the other end of the scale, of course, where some players in the past have maybe abused the privilege of being able to take breaks whenever they want and use it to go out to, you know, maybe not just use the bathroom to do other things and maybe have a chat with their coach or just go outside, get some fresh air. So it's very, very difficult. take into consideration as well the TV aspect of it 
you know, a lot of TV companies want action, 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 and they don't want to keep going for breaks every time the player goes for a break. So it's a fine line, but I'm sure we'll get there in the end and lessons will be learned by everybody. Doesn't change the fact Albin is back from his break. How will he be feeling now? A little bit disappointed after that first set. Could have, should have won it. Balls a little wave over the top to check there's no gaps. She's happy. Now, can she make Albin Ocean happy? Can he make a ball on the break? He's changed him. He's gone to the centre of the table, look. Or well, maybe just what he needs. Yes, it's a ball, five ball. Oh, I think the seven ball guy in between. But just look at the cue ball. So he's got past the side. That's already a big squat of the cue ball. Nice big impact, made a ball on the break. Definitely improvement just looking after. But that's also a thing, you know, you just you break him as hard as you can with a decent cue ball and hopefully you get something happen it's there's no guarantees he's looking at jumping this it's it's aggressive but if you can jump and make it there is a pretty decent value i think you can get on the two ball could Strange also situation this it's, it's the kind of shot that you would play if maybe you're one set up, feeling confident, but also it's a shot when you're one set down, you need to try and make something happen. You made a ball on the break, Tim, and it is kind of a, a chance, but he's turning it down. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Being down one set is definitely going to make him... Well, take different choices. That's what he was trying to do, trying to lock up the three and the four. Just to slow down Ko, if he makes a great shot from the one to the two, then it will be more difficult to run out. Three, four, looks like it could be a makeable combo though. So if he gets decent on the two from this, Alvin might regret that push out. He did leave him a really good shot, didn't he, at that one ball. to run into a piece of that three ball but just because it's a cut the cue ball will have a lot more speed on it and I'm not exactly sure how everything's going to end up play that with such a soft touch beautifully done could have lost the three ball easily mentioned his two brothers, Tim, earlier on, Ko Ping Yi, Ko Ping Han. Now then, why is this guy at the table the only one called Ko Ping with a G and not Ko Pin, P-I-N? Do you know that story? I actually don't know this. Well, it was something as simple as a mistake when his birth was registered at the hospital. They just heard Ko Ping. That's what he was called. Oh, wow. 
That's actually an interesting story. That's not something you get to hear every day, but... It could have been worse. They could have heard P-I-N-K instead of P-I-N-G. Imagine that. Code pink. <laughs> Junk. <laughs> He's really starting to get comfortable. Also, if you just look at Albin, it's difficult to make something happen in this second step. The break also is not working in his favor. I mean, that's how the game goes sometimes. You know, you're not always going to get the break after the break, but how much is going to happen? Never, you're never gonna get paid. I'm not because you a little bit more paid you can finally play good. This time man is starting to play good and if you starting to find a break. And then it goes. First blood in this second set to Ko Pink Chung. Let's go around the room very quickly for you. Carlo Biardo, the sole representative of the Philippines. He's keeping the, the red, white and blue flag flying high. He is one set up against Wu Kun Lin. Francisco Sanchez. Just, I just feel that there is no, no pop. There is nothing, no big impact. You know, he's breaking flat cue, a lot of speed on the balls, but this way is just not working so far in this match. And just in my opinion, I was gonna say, that in my opinion, the only way for Albin to get to the table at this point is Ko's break. If the break starts going as well, then we might not see Albin no more in this match. This is interesting because if he was feeling really, really confident, he just got down to maybe play this in the corner. His first choice was the side, and I think the way he's feeling, he's gonna go in the side pocket here slightly easier than taking on the long straightish one side it's going well did that you will stop right in time I think it did beautiful beautiful shot not acknowledged by the crowd but it was very sensitive had to cheat the pocket to kill some speed Well, I've never experienced this, Tim, so I need to ask a good player this. It's a shame I'm not with Chris Reinhold, so you'll have to do. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. When you're playing a match, Tim, and you know you've played a real good shot, you know, you're kind of patting yourself on the back inside, knowing that you've played such a wonderful shot, and from the audience, there's absolutely nothing. Does that ever affect you? Does it play on your mind a little bit, or don't you really care? No, no, no. I'm usually I try to just stay focused on the job itself. You know, you make a great shot. Usually, the toughest shot in pool is the shot after a great shot because it's now it's more pressure. And yeah, in the end, you know, if the, if you run out the game, you could go to your chair and say, "Oh, okay, you know, there was a there was a good out. There was tough." 
but you know if there's people clapping or not of course it gives a good feeling if it's acknowledged but you know if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen I, d I don't care that much with left but hand I spin there inside to come across for the seven carry on I, al I also do think that this is also depending in Europe most of the tournaments we've had in the past they didn't have huge crowds so basically most of the Europeans are used to probably breaking running like 80% of matches and nobody clapping so yeah I don't think most of the players do think about this referee paying attention and they really do work hard they're on their feet all the time they have to concentrate every time they don't get to sit down between shots like these players and relax they have to stay focused so thanks to all our referees who do a great job as well so stun the cube all over for the nine in the same corner. He is hanging in this match. But like I mentioned before, the break, I feel the break is such a huge factor between these two. Riding around the table smooth in this dead straight 10 and it goes and levels things up again and it was a very very close set of course went hill hill if Albin can win this set he'll force a third and deciding set and should we go 3-3 again Tim in the decider we have one of those shootouts don't we yeah yeah, and I see no reason why this match could not go there. Because if you look at it from a different perspective, Albin clearly does have a more powerful break than Coping Charm. Now, if that break starts working, that could play Albin into a third set. And then, of course, from there on, we still have to tie it through each, but... Of course, we still got to get to the third set first. Sticking with more to the centre, breaking. Looking for a square hit on that one. suppose Tim you could compare the break as we see him you know he didn't really catch that square did he so if you imagine the break shot as an actual going to make a ball like a straight in pot for example if you don't hit that pot straight in line then you're not going to make it so the break shot is kind of the same thing isn't it if you're not quite accurate why should you be rewarded yeah yeah, I agree. Most of the time, players, they expect, just when the cue ball hops in the air, they expect to have balls flying in the corners. And this is just not true. There's way more to the break than most of the players do think. Oh, he's okay, though. Oh, he's okay, though. Oh, yeah, quite a lucky roll there. First thing he comes around to look at, does that five ball go in the side pocket? I think it does. Another guilt edge chance here, Tim. Yeah, of course we'll have to play a superb shot from the four to the five. I 
would be nice to get something on the five ball where he doesn't have to run into the seven ball. It's worth pointing out that this is double elimination and this is a winner's qualification round. So whoever does finish second in this particular match won't be out. They will go on to their second chance on the loser's side. So it's not all over yet for either player. Oh, what a shot he's played here. What? Oh, it's unfortunate. Will it go off the seven team in the side? Or is it a bit thin? No, no, I think he will not be able to make the five from this position. Now, if he can, can he still cut the five into the seven and bring the cue ball three rails to maybe behind the 10? I think it's tough. I don't think it's there, but what else are you going to play? And the time is also running. ball with the butt of his cue and he's hit the cue ball with the tip of his cue it's about as good I think as he could have got there Tim yeah I don't think he's had any other chance to put Albin in a bad position he's got really awkward Extension. can he Back, like cut bank into the five, cue ball run into the six to travel back to the seven ball and send the five up to the eight. This is a tricky shot here. Of course, this, the scratch is on as well. Can he squeeze that five in between the six and the seven? Well, he might be able to, but the scratch is so near. Oh, what a good effort. Unlucky. No damage done, though, I don't think. Still tricky, Tim, for Ko Ping Chung. Yeah, I... Double I kiss, maybe. Or is he just going to play soft to the other side of the six? Well, he's not going to like what's coming after. Well, I don't usually, Tim, read comments out because I don't normally look, but I just happened to glance just to see how many people were watching at the moment. And I saw this great, great observation it's a horrible job being a ref. It's like being the vice president. No one truly wants that job. <laughs> I kind of thought that was a really smart observation. Yeah, it's tough to be out there. I completely believe that. Just as tough as kicking two rails at this. Oh, he's going one rail back down. Oh, oh, nice hit. And I don't think he could have left the five ball tougher than he did now, but what an effort. Fabulous shot. Five ball. Oh, and he's missed the five ball. Look what he's given. Ping Chung here. He will love to pick up the pieces. It was, like I said, it was not an easy shot, but also would not have expected him to miss it by that far. It's one of those shots you miss, isn't it, when you're 
you're down in the match, you're not really feeling 100%. You've just lost the first set that you could have so easily won. And it's another mistake from Albin, which has left, as you said, to pick up the pieces for coping junk. Yeah, you can go go back to the center of the table for the eight in the corner. Could also go forward for the eight in the side. I believe. It was the easier route, but some players like to stun the cue ball all the time, so they choose for the corners. And some people, they like the pocket speed and they float the seven in for the eight in the side. One real back out 2022. 2022 champion Wojtek Shevchek has taken the second set to equalize against Hong Kong Ling Liao. He's a fighter, Tim, isn't he? Shevchek doesn't give anything away. You have to earn it to beat him. Well, also, especially with the Hendrik Tembo, the big breakers, they have a big advantage. And Shevchek does have a big break. 2 1. Big, big chunk. Nice little rhyme there from Tim De Reuter. Let's have a look at these stats, Tim. What's jumping out at you? Well, just look at how Go is surviving this match with a 20% break success. That's actually low, but so far has been playing a 950 player overall performance this second set. Yeah, run out percentages averagely, would expect a little higher maybe from both, but that's also because they had more safety shots, more defense involved. So he's gone now, to the centre, look, Tim. He's gone to yeah. the centre. Okay, I like what he's done here. Good cue ball. Does he get... No, does not get a ball down. All the traffic went up table. And it's just... That eight ball is going to the side. But then the four-wheeler bumped it. And almost no other ball seems to, to threaten anything at all. Is he coming behind the eight here? Or was he considering pushing the boat out a little bit and playing the one, two, eight, Tim? Or well, he was just looking Mark at the crazy. No, he was looking at the one, two, eight, but I just don't see him getting much shape after. Quite difficult, quite aggressive, doesn't have to play. Could play the one into the two ball and bring the cue ball two rails down underneath the seven nine. That's why it's the long rail. Well, he went all in. He went for it, Tim. Now that is a bit surprising, isn't it? Yeah, especially, you know, the score is only two to one. It's not like he has to force something. He's right in the set. He can still win the set. Of course, he did get a little lucky, so it might still work out for him. But yeah, it's still a little bit surprised he chose to go for the combo. But maybe it laid a little better than it looked to us. That's always possible, of course. I just think the way he played it was kind of a he used the expression hit and hope but he played it with quite pace and was trusting to luck to a certain extent where the balls ended up Tim oh look at this well another piece of luck this time the coping jump jump cue coming out the air rush the butt is going to come off Quarter 
He's going to try and catch the right side of the one and bring the cue ball up table. Plenty of cover. Has done. Look at this cue ball. Does he get behind the eight? Oh, I, I'm not exactly sure if he got behind the eight or not, but if he did, what a beautiful shot. If he did not, what a beautiful try. So a great oh, example there of using the air rush jump cue. And there was a very famous movie, Tim, called Rush. And it was about a very famous Austrian Formula One driver, Nicky Lauda, fellow Austrian. Just a, another useless little piece of information I thought I'd throw at you, Tim. Something you can forget as soon as you want. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm asking you questions later. Who was the Formula One driver I was just talking about? I already forgot. Um, so let's see. Does he go two real shape or just one real? For the tube on the top right. And this is exactly what I'm what I meant. He's right in the set. It's just that things are going a little bit strange back and forth, but mm. great chance to level the score again to each. Sometimes it's the messy racks that you have to win, isn't it? They're worth just as much as a run out. Worth remembering. No shirt foul. We are playing all ball fouls and the three foul rule. WPA rules. Need some of that in point precision now. Get back on level up. terms in the second set. He came up a little short on the six. Might have to go in between the ten and the eight. Could go three rails around. Could also float in the six and take the seven to the bottom left. But managed nicely to stay off the long rail. It was a very soft touch. I wasn't expecting him yeah, to hold it good all that well. We have our first man through to the last 16 of the 2024 WPA Predator World Temple Championships. It's Miezko Fortunski. He has beaten Chang Jung Lin in straight sets, Tim. So Chang Jung Lin goes to the one loss side. Yeah, he still has another shot to get to the last 16. And I feel Chang is also playing good. He's won the doubles with Chiu Cho, so he'll be back, I feel. He also has a good break, doesn't he? One of those big breakers. Well, it's not a coincidence that a guy like Kachi or Sanchez or Albin, Chang, that they keep coming out on top or at least getting far in tournaments within this format, of course. I mean, every format has a different skill set, but. Well, you've got more chance of coming out on top if when you break, you've got a lot of pop. So, nicely poised. More stats for you. Break success. Just shot up. Albin, Tim. Yeah, 
Yeah, for Albin, the break statistics are slowly looking to be decent, but the break success percentage for Ko is, I mean, I'm a little bit flabbergasted. You would not expect this, but it's not because he was breaking horrible, just nothing finding its way. It's just really weird. I don't know why. Well, one stat that's jumping out at me is the missed shots, four in total for Albin Ocean, zero for Ko Ping Chung. That is probably the reason why we've got Ko Ping Chung leading this match to get into the last 16. So interesting, now Albin goes back to the long rail break from the outer side. Was breaking pretty well from the center. More cut. No ball. And he might have left a bank on this one ball. A bank with safe in mind. Of course, with the two ball in front of the corner, a decent reward. He's looking at the four and the five. Four balls locked, so difficult and have to open up the 4-5 and try to get on the three ball. Maybe in this stage of the match. Okay, he did call the bank. I was gonna say, doesn't have to shoot the bank shot because could consolidate his first set win well, he's made the one but no shot on the two ball of course can still get the jump cue out and I feel he kind of has to take a small gamble to Run into the four and the five. If you nudge the four or the five, you might still get something on the three ball. You gotta try it. Co got his name on that jump cue. Oh, is he had any luck? He might need the stick again. He might need to jump this as well, Tim. Well, I do think he's got the three ball and some angle to get to the four. Yeah, could play for safety on the four ball. Could also try to go with inside spin and nudge softly the five for the four. And if he doesn't get it, play a safety. Our other televised match is Ko Ping Chung. Sorry, Ko Pin Yi, his brother. Up against Alex Pagulain. They're nicely poised at one set all now. So if you want to watch that one, go on over to table two. Or you can watch them both at once, can't they, Tim? If they've got a couple of devices, use your phone and your iPad or laptop, computer at home, or just steal somebody else's phone. I'm just joking. Never steal. It's bad for you. It's bad. Four ball, corner pocket. Yeah, he got... He got the nice bump on the seven ball. Could have ended in a more difficult position. And he's played the safety nicely. Not so much opening Four ball, corner pocket. for Albin. Extension. Two rail kick coming towards this four ball. He's already called this bottom left hand corner on your screens now. To be careful of that five, Tim. He'll be queuing very, very close to it. Could be a little short. Top spin is not going to help him in this matter. Going to make the angle shorter. Nice hit, but yeah, he knows it. Wide open.
always the case, isn't it? OK, they're easy to hit, but can you get them safe? The answer there, no. And another gilt edge opportunity for the Taiwanese. Well, also, queuing over that five ball and kicking two rails at it was not easy to give the cue ball more speed. So by hitting the four ball, the chances of getting a good separation were not too high. Not because he's played it horrible, it's just a little bit less chance to get that luck. But what else could he have played? Not so many options for Albin there. form into 2024 which all started in 2023 and it's a little bit like Sanchez Ruiz's run okay maybe not quite as successful yet but if he can win this Tim you might just get the feeling that he's on a Ruiz roll so to say On the hill, that's for sure. If he can make a ball on the break, get a decent layout. It could be Alfie Descent for Albion Ocean on the winner's side. Go to the one lost side. fighting back against Aloysius Yap out on table six Catchy lost the first set to Yap but he's 3-2 ahead in the second ball in the side shot at the one two ball on also this is just what he required and I'm not hearing anything from Tim at the moment but if I did I'm sure he'll be saying good break nice pop no I'm actually this was the break I was going for <laughs> just yeah, it took him so long to to find the, the mix between a lot of speed and then the pop. If he starts breaking the balls like this. It could potentially. Be the worst. Yeah, I was going to say, could, could potentially shut Albin down here. Could push the five. Side rail here, Tim. Sorry, well, he could also could also push the five ball over to the corner as long as he has the cut on the four oh, on the three ball, excuse me. Yeah, good call. It's exactly as he played it. Commentator's eye there from the eight ball, reigning eight ball champion from the Netherlands, Tim de Reuter. And I'm not a defending champion of anything. I'm just Mark White, plain old Mark White. was easier to hold the cue ball than to travel all around the table on that, but still D8. Every, this, this whole wreck is about the eight ball. 
the 8 9 combo could be very awkward as long as you if you get straight on it it's okay but if you don't get straight it's it's not a nice shot at all and he's missed the five wow ball. Oh, maybe just a little bit too much attention paid to the six ball there and worrying maybe potentially tim about that looming eight ball and just hit it thick the only thing I was Albin Ocean. The only thing I was looking at was maybe going forward three rails on that five ball, but that could also be personal preference, so in the end what matters is that Albin is back at the table. But he also has to still get from the seven to the eight and Oh, if he gets on the rail, this six ball, I don't think there is a scratch. I think he's close, but he doesn't scratch. But then he's going to end up pretty straight on the seven ball. Definitely wasn't trying to get so far down on this six ball. Another indication, I think, Tim, of not feeling 100% at the moment, thought he was out, he needs to take, oh well that's just so much movement Tim on the body there, so unlike Albin. Yeah it was a very awkward shot, he felt he had to punch the cue ball over to not scratch. A little bit stabby in the action there, unusual for such a purist, such a beautiful cueist. And now, surely, Co can finish this out. Still has this eight, although Tim to negotiate. So, two real shape towards the eight. Could go one rail as well, but I like the second rail. It's easier to spread out the speed. Came up maybe a smidge short on this eight. Might have to play up and down the table. But can he still soft cut this eight in with a little bit inside? I'm not a big fan of that shot. I'd rather go twice up and down. Twice a short rail. Don't want to risk deceleration, do you? Get the cue through, keep the stroke the same, Tim. Very, very nice. Now, if he can make the nine and the ten, he will go through to the last 16. And we will leave also, but we're back tomorrow morning, guys, at 10 a.m. in the morning. And I've just noticed, Tim, we've got three Americans left in. We've got Skylar Woodward. Shane Van Boning and another player who you may not always recognise at the latter end of tournaments, Hunter Lombardo going well. A mistake though, from the 9 to the 10, from Co. can he slide this in? Albin is very, very disappointed. Had a really good chance in that first set. Let it slip. Ho took it. And it was pretty much the same in the second set. Also, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Remember, back tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Vegas time, with some more men's temple action. There's also the women's showdown as well. Tim De Reuter and myself, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. I'm going to go and get some sleep. Ta-ta. Yep. We'll see you.